Hello, and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. It's the third Friday of the month, and that means it's Art Addicts Alliance time. We'll get to the art in just a sec, but first let me explain why you're looking at screen capture recording of Color Nix's stuff. Well, one of the two theme options this round is a Draw This In Your Style swap with all of the other Art Addicts Alliance members. So I believe there are seven of us who committed to the style swap challenge for this month. So Jazz Capri went ahead and shuffled the list, and I'm drawing something that Color Nix has drawn. She will be drawing something that somebody else drew, and I don't know who's drawing me. Well, I have an idea. Somebody on the team did like a whole bunch of my stuff on Instagram all on the same day not too long ago. I have a guess. I could be wrong. <laughs> We were actually talking about this kind of vaguely in the Discord server back on like the 15th or so. And Color Nix actually said, by the way, whoever got me, good luck picking through all the anime men titties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was a challenge. <laughs> it's uh, not that I don't want to draw anime men and their titties. It's the fact that this is a draw this in your style challenge. And if Color Nix was drawing existing anime characters, then Color Nix was already doing a Draw This In Your Style because she didn't restyle them. So yeah, I had to look back for other things. Fortunately, I found an Inktober submission that I really, really liked. This was from 2020, and it was for the prompt Sphinx. I, I believe it was a different prompt list. I'm sure I showed it on screen. <laughs> so yes, that's what we're doing. I am redrawing artwork based on something that Color Nix did in the past because I have chosen to do the Draw This In Your Style exchange challenge with about half of the team. The other half of the team, the ones who are participating and not on hiatus this month, are doing screen capture redraws. I believe the spirit of the prompt was to pick a favorite TV show or movie and do a screen capture redraw, but I know at least one person is doing something from another YouTube video. Either way, we've got a lot of cool content for you. The other permanent members of the Art Addicts Alliance are Jazz Capri, Weblight Dreams, Pan Dimensional Space Zombie, All Funnies and Games, Aurora's Art World, Blue Flynn, The Artsy Pineapple, Enjoy Drawing with Mary, Dark Star Creations, Color Nix, Jude's Art Desk, and Fuzzy Dragons. Go check out everybody else. Make sure you're watching all of the other Art Addicts Lines videos this week. They're going to be so much fun. Tell me in the comments if you already know who drew mine. <laughs> if you are interested in hanging out with us, we do have a Discord server and half of it is public free for all. Anybody can join. We talk about art, we talk about real life, whatever. Come join the party, share your stuff with us. If you're interested in being a featured guest, somebody who is temporarily on the team for one month, you can do so by applying over on the Discord server. We will ask that you are an active YouTuber, at least one of your primary focuses on your channel is art, and because of YouTube rules and COPA laws and that kind of stuff, you do have to be at least 14 years old. Just go over there, apply, tell us what month you want to participate, and if those of us who are kind of like the admin filter people think that you're a good fit for the team, which is just about anybody who asks, honestly, <laughs> then we'll go ahead and we will let you know what is going on for the month that you are participating in. If you just want to have fun and unofficially participate with us, you can do that too. We do announce what the themes are quite a bit ahead of time, so you can go over there on the public side of the Discord server and just figure out what it is and post along with us anyway. If you are interested in joining us on a permanent basis, we do have a few slots open at the moment. You can also go ahead and head over to Discord and apply there. It's going to be the same thing as being a featured guest, except since you're going to be permanently on the team, we're going to want to see that you have at least 100 subscribers as well, and we're going to ask for an audition video. If you have guested with us before, officially or unofficially, you can just submit that. And if you haven't, then make an unofficial guest video for the current theme, for next month, for a past month, doesn't matter. Make an Art Addicts Lines video, send it in to us, and as long as the current members think that you're somebody we can all work with and there's nothing problematic about your channel, then we will be welcoming you. Help us fill the team, seriously. like. It's always been a rule in the team that we can have 15 permanent members at any given time, and I 
don't think that cap has been met in years. Help us fill it. Come on. You know you wanna. <laughs> So for today's piece, I did try to honor the fact that this was an Inktober piece and I did it in ink. I allowed myself color because quite often when I'm doing Inktober, I do use color. I do go for the alcohol markers and do a full color piece. This last Inktober, I did shorts any day of the week that wasn't one of my normal uploads and some of them hardly got any views and some of them got thousands of views and it was interesting. Shorts is an interesting beast. If you're also a YouTube creator, have you tried shorts? Have you figured out how the algorithm works for that yet? Because I'm confused. <laughs> but yeah, the piece. So since this is a draw this in your style, I went ahead, I did a headshot portrait of a sphinx cat, a hairless cat, in the Egyptian pharaoh getup. I kind of angled it the same way as Nyx's. It's kind of sort of tilted a bit to its left, our right. It's a little more head-on than the original. I did give it the same type of headdress with the king cobra ornament in the front. I did give it an ear piercing on the left side. I did give it the chin beard thingy. And I did also give it the two scars over the right eye. So I tried very much to make sure that this cat was decked out the same as Color Nix's piece, but I went ahead and I colored it. Nix's was not. I also went for a much more realistic looking cat because that is my style to go as realistic as possible while still looking like an illustration rather than going for true photorealism. I did have a lot of fun with this. This actually this is inspiring and I want to do more like this. I don't know if I will make myself do more like this. Honestly, I I'm kind of struggling a bit with coming up with content ideas here on YouTube because it seems like only the videos that are unboxing or reviewing or doing a really popular challenge that everybody else is currently doing, only those ones are actually getting recommended beyond my normal viewership. So I'm, I'm tempted to only make that stuff, but there are so many other videos I could make just for the fun of it. I'm really trying to figure out how to find a happy medium there. So. You may have noticed me asking in the last couple of videos, what sort of content do you want to see? What would you watch for sure? Let me know, please, please let me know. And while we're confessing things, I spend so much time reading books and posting the reviews and working on my book blog and stuff like that, that I'm not watching a lot of other art creators on a regular basis because like that requires actually watching <laughs> with my eyes and my eyes are occupied. I end up, if I'm not listening to a book, I end up listening to other videos that don't need to be watched, like story time videos and news videos, that kind of thing. So I, I'm out of touch with what the big and small and medium art creators are doing. I'm, I'm out of touch with what else is happening in this niche, really. So, I, I know, easy fix would be to actually carve out some time and go watch the other guys, but yeah. If you do watch a lot of art content outside of my channel, please help me out. Tell me what's doing well, what do you want to see, what are the other people doing that you really liked that they're not doing anymore? Maybe I could do it for you instead? I don't know. Anyway, tell me, do you like my version of Color Nix's Sphinx? Do you like hers better? It's okay if you do. If my video is the first Art at Excellence video you're seeing this week, please do go ahead and check out everybody else. Find out who else was doing the Draw This In Your Style swap, figure out who did me, figure out who Color Nix did, figure out who was doing a screen capture instead. It'll be interesting to find out who's doing what and who's doing who. Oh, that sounded bad. <laughs> And if I'm the last one you're watching this week, if you've already watched everybody else, well, thank you for actually taking the time to watch everybody and still get around to me. That's amazing. Very much appreciated. Definitely tell me in the comments down below. Who drew mine? What did they pick? I will see you next week with two more videos. At the very least, I really do want to start doing shorts again. If you're looking for more to watch, I've got some suggestions up on the left side of the screen now. Don't forget to like, comment, maybe even subscribe. And if you like Living Life Creatively, whatever that means to you, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Bye guys.